All right, today we are looking at the Elm 327 interface for the OBD2 protocol systems. This is a Bluetooth. They ship it with support for Windows. However, if you have a jailbroken on device, such as an iPhone, download Rocky Bluetooth for it. The license for it costs about $7. Um, if you really don't know, the OBD plugs in up and under your dashboard down here somewhere. Kind of hard to see. What you're going to want to do is turn your key up just before it starts and plug your device in. So now it's all plugged in. We're going to come back. And I have it already set up, so we just click it. Wait for it to pop up. That's our server, our port that it's running on. It means it's connected. Uh, you want to use a program called Rev or something else. I'm going to hide my VIN number because something you don't really need to know. See, as you can see, it says unknown vehicle. My VIN is done. Gauges, track, and codes. I'm going to go to codes. So as you see, no engine codes on it. You can come through, check codes, your monitors. This tells you what's supported, what's not. Green's obviously supported, red is supported and incomplete, and gray is unsupported. Sometimes you can get it to roll if you turn start the vehicle. Like I said this isn't fully supported, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, and I'm going to go to gauges. Like I said, sometimes you can get this to work, other times not so much. This time it's not working. I have had this work. It will read uh, your miles per hour, your torque, uh, your boost, engine load, and RPM. And this is fully customizable. You can do whatever with it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it to work. And go ahead and unplug our. OBD2. Go back, make sure our Bluetooth disconnects. Go ahead and plug it back in. Now the vehicle is still running, so I'm not too worried about that. Go ahead and connect. Now we're connected. Again, I am going to hide my VIN. See if everything pops up. Alright, it grabbed it. Go back to gauges. Appears today it does not want to read. It does work on most vehicles. Um, like I said, I am in a O2 Durango. It is a little finicky, but it, that's pretty much it. All in all, it's a decent program, decent application, pretty handy. If you don't like the extra wires, I would definitely recommend going out and pick one up. I will supply a link to where I got this one. It's purchased for about $11 or so. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. Uh, if not, oh well. <laughs> Take it easy, and I'll uh, be back with more reviews on different products, how-tos, anything else that we can think of. If there's something you want me to review or take a look at or explain how it works, uh, leave me a comment, and we'll figure it out. Bye.